Hey Stampers, Diane Dimitri with DDStamps.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make this um, star card. It's actually a shaped card but it does hinge so I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really very simple and it's a lot of fun with these new um, star framelits. So we'll get started and to begin with you're going to go ahead and take a piece of, I use Knight of Navy, it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, just your regular base card size and then you're going to use your framelits um, and to begin with, I'm going to start with the largest of the stars. And I'm just going to line this up on my card so that just one of the points is off the edge. And this is the folded edge because that's what gives me the crease on my card. And I'm going to go ahead and use the um, magnetic plate for this. I'm going to use my flatter. It's best if you use the flattest cutting pad that you have. And then I'll line up my cardstock on there and line up where I want that star to be cut and then I'll run this through the big shot. And once you have that run through the big shot, what you're going to end up with is here's your cardstock. And when I pull this off, I have the base of my card with that large star. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of Knight of Navy and that large star and line that up also on my magnetic plate and run this through the big shot. And then I have a star to um, emboss. And so what I'm gonna do in that, this time, I'm gonna take my one of my embossing folders, and this one is the perfect polka dots embossing folder. Any of, any of the embossing folders will work. And this is just slightly, you can see it's just a little bit, like one tip is gonna be off, but that's all right because the stars are kind of, or the um, dots are kind of random, so it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna put these through my big shot. And once I've done that, I'll take this out and then I have um, an embossed star. And that this star actually, I'm just gonna add some adhesive and attach this right to the front of my base of my card here, like that. And that just covers up where that fold is, but then you can see where you get a great base for a card. So there's the beginning of it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of our glimmer paper and this time I am using um, the middle star of this five. There's five five sizes of framelits and I'm going to use the middle one to cut with this glimmer paper. And so that again is going to go through the big shot. And once you've got that cut out, this is going to be attached to the front of the card base. And you can start to see this card coming together. That's cute, just like that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back in with my magnetic plate. And this time I'm using a piece of designer series paper. And the second to the largest star. And the second to the smallest star. And I'm just going to line those up on there. And it's easy with the magnetic plate because it's not moving. It's not going anywhere. And then run this to the big shot. And when I take this off and start peeling back my layers, I end up with this shape and then an extra. And once I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and take my scoreboard. I simply scored. Then I'm going to bring in my simply scored. And I'm just going to line this up, and I'm actually just line the, lining the point of this star up at the three inch mark and scoring there and down here. And I'm just going to turn it and do that five times for each point at the top and the bottom. And it doesn't matter about the measurement, I just pick three inches. Um, so you could do this with any scoring. And once you've got that done, then what you're gonna do is you're going to take those score lines and you're gonna mountain fold and valley fold. And so the mountain fold is on the big, the big point, the valley fold is on the little point on the inside. Oh, I missed that one. I have to go back and score that one. Guess I didn't do it enough. Unscored. 
Once I've done that, then I'm going to take a little bit of our multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm just going to come in here just on the, the tips, just on the edge of the tips, and add just a little adhesive. on each tip and then bring my card base back in and line this up and the nice thing about the um, multi-purpose adhesive is that it's a little forgiving so you can you can kind of manipulate things a little bit and once I've got it where I want it I'm just going to hold those tips down for just a few oh maybe 30 seconds or so and that will adhere it to your card and you end up with a great dimension to this. I don't know if you can see that, but that sparkle in the middle is awesome. And then um, the red star is lifted a little bit. And then for the inside, I go ahead with a piece of Whisper White, that second to the largest star. And run that through the big shot. And that gets adhesive. right to the inside of my card. Like that. And now I'm gonna take just a little bit of uh, Night and Navy um, ink and the Celebrate stamp that we got in this month's Paper Pumpkin. If you um, didn't get this month's Paper Pumpkin, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, and it was a great summer celebration, 4th of July. Um, kit and I'm going to do a I don't know if I'm going to do a video or if I'm going to do a blog post I'll let you know I'll put a little link into the into this video when I get that done um, showing some of the stuff that I did with that kit and so once I've got this here then I'm just going to using the bitty banners I stamp that celebrate and I'm going to run that through the big shot and that's done that's going to come out of there. And I've got this great banner. If I just curl the edges. It kind of gives my banner a little, a little wave to it. And I'm going to add this right to the middle of my cardstock with a little piece of uh, dimensional. So there you have it, a very quick, easy celebration card. This is a fun thing to do with the framelits. And I'm telling you, I'm going to do one with the flower um, framelits too, because I think that would make a really fun card. But I like the hinge card that way. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already done so, you should click on the link and subscribe to my um, newsletter. I send out lots of various um, ideas and techniques and all kinds of stuff in there weekly. So, hey, have a great day. Thanks.